Uh-oh. Okay, so we've got Grace and Kelly. Do my facts hurt your feelings? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, um, hold on here. Uh, I'm using an ultra bit. <laughs> yeah, you can have a getting. I might be getting mad here in a minute, now, and I? Yeah. So, it sounds like, did you say this is a short, so should we, like, uh, not bother with the vote, no pause, and just watch it? Is that what we're doing here, Colin, or, uh, don't no bother with it. It's, it's too short for a vote. Okay. Alright, so, um, here we go. Um, some, I'm, well, Colin found it, so there's some crazy bitch. I don't know, fuck, I don't know what this is gonna be. I've seen crazy success before, I Oh, for fuck's sake. It's to create. It's been a year yet, Donna. As new COVID vaccine is based on new technology that has not been approved for human use. Fact, your government has made it so that pharmaceuticals cannot be held accountable if anybody is hurt or dies. Fact, there is a 99.9% chance of surviving corona. I did not know oh, that only television around the times and Google says that you're a right-wing conspiracy theorist. Wow, that's an impressive counter-argument. Did my facts hurt your feelings? Well, they might have, but many of them were facts. My gosh, this is a fact. You're an idiot. <laughs> fact, mRNA viruses are not... Virus vaccines are not new technology. This technology has existed for almost 30 years. <laughs> this just happens to be the first time we have had a practical application for it. And one of the reasons that mRNA uh, vaccines are going to be used in the future, and one of the reasons they want to use it, is because you have a much faster turnaround to create a virus, all you need to do is sequence the virus's DNA and you will have an mRNA vaccine ready to test within months instead of years. Yeah. So, catch a fucking clue and learn about the technology. Fact, you're an idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Marvin. What she has just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. At no point in her rambling, incoherent response was she even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. That's <laughs> it. very fitting for her, really, isn't it? Oh, wait, I've looked like a dumbass last week. Yeah, that is on. Oh, I don't worry, you know, folks, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. No matter how much makeup you put on your ass, I still don't want to hear your fucking balloon not speak. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw in, in fact, the government has licensed the actual virus uh, and vaccines uh, through clinical trials. But they have been actually run through clinical trials for testing on human beings. Um. Which part of this don't you understand? Grace? All of it. <laughs> and I just want to find out really quickly, um, her first fact, uh, what was it, the, uh, no one has ever created a vaccine for coronavirus. Imagine saying that like it means anything. No one has ever created a vaccine for this brand new virus that we're currently distributing the vaccine for. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Far man, go ahead. Now, to clear up an actual serious point, um, when she says, like, the, the government, the, like, they, you can't sue the vaccine agencies, things like that, well, yes, you can. If they found to have lied on their clinical trials and falsified data, they are fully open to being sued. The government only protects them in the way that they have presented their data and they said, yeah, the risks are worth taking, we will pay out uh, any vaccine damage clauses, things like that, as long as your data is correct. If you've lied, you're up shit creek. It's as simple as that. Well, she also ignored that there's more than one government in the world, like they all do. True. Mm -hmm. I assume she was talking about America, and therefore talking about 4% of the world population, so... <laughs> that covers everyone. Mike, go ahead. The, uh, the other thing is that... It, 
While it's true there hasn't been a vaccine created for a coronavirus, that's because most of the current strains are just a common cold. The one vaccine, though, are the ones coronavirus, SARS-CoV-1, back in 2003, really didn't last that long, and really, they started working on the vaccine for that, but it died out, so they stopped. So, by the way, coronavirus vaccine development was underway 17 years ago, or 18 years ago now. So, she's wrong about uh, on that fact that we're all supposed to know about. We got, a, we got a good one from Simon Green in the chat. Pat, people's opinion on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is oh so true, oh so true. But it, he ups us on the air, so... <laughs>